Hi everyone, welcome back to Analytics with Aisha. In today's video, we are going to learn on how to create a dynamic metric selection in Power BI. Before we start, don't forget to hit subscribe as there will be more interesting videos from us. In this Power BI, I have uploaded a sample of data called product table. So in this product table, we have cost, date added, product ID, product name, profit and revenue. Previously, I've also added a new measure table and there are three measures inside which are cost, profit and revenue. So let's say you are doing a management reporting and only wanted to showcase a one page report of your product performance. You wanted to show cost and revenue in the same report, but you might need to replicate your charts so the whole report will look messy. That's when you can implement this dynamic metric selection. The first thing you need to do is create a new table. We can do this by entering a data. So let's create a new table called metrics. And let's create a new column called category. So inside this category, let's enter values like revenue, cost and profit. Once you are done, you can click load. So now you will see a new table created called matrix and with a new column called category. The next thing that you need to do is to create a new measure. So let's create a new measure and name it as selected matrix. So inside here, let's add selected value and add a column that you want the value to point to. For the alternate result, leave it blank. You just need to include it when you want to show a default value when there is no value being applied to your slicer later. And then, enter. So this measure, you will use it later when you want to define the selection of a value from your slicer. Alright, let's create another measure for calculation. Let's name it as value. Let's start this measure with switch. Okay, so switch is similar to case when in SQL. So if you are not familiar with SQL, let's look at it as a cleaner version of multiple if statement. Okay, now let's add the selected metric measure that you just created into here. For value one, let's put revenue. And for the result, let's put the revenue measure. So how this will read is when there is a select, selected value of revenue, this will be the result. You need to make sure that the value that in, you include inside the value 1 is the same as the value that you entered in the category list just now. Let's add for cost and also for profit. Click commit. Now let's test it out. Let's bring out category as a slicer. And then let's add selected metrics as a scorecard as well as the value as a scorecard. And let's add a table from the product table. Let's put product name, the revenue, cost and also profit. Right, so now let's try to choose cost. So as you can see here, the cost is 259, which is tallies with the table that we have created here. Profit is 702, which is also tallies with the sum of profit from here. And the revenue is 961, tallies from the sum of revenue in here. Now let's not select anything and you can see it's all blank. So it's blank because in the alternate result, in value and also selected metrics, we did not put anything. So let's say you want to show a value when you did not apply anything on the slicer. You can just simply add something inside here. So if, if your measure value is in integer, you can put a text as your alternate result. Okay, or you can also include um, an integer inside here. Try out, just want to show zero. 
Let's include the same inside selected matrix. So there you have it. Alright, so the first bonus tips that I want to share is how to filter out specific value from your slicer. Let us say you are creating two pages. One page you want to only show revenue and cost. Another page you want to have all three, revenue, cost and profit. So you can achieve this by just simply clicking on the category of slicer that you have and then just filter out profit from here. So this will be your first page. So inside your second page, you can just include the profit inside your slicer. So there you have it. The second bonus tips that I want to share with you is how you can sort this category list. Okay, so right now it is sorting based on alphabet. So maybe you wanted to make sure that revenue is on top and then cost and then profit. So you can achieve this by making sure that there is a sorting column on in your matrix table. So to do this, you can go to Power Query. Okay, inside your matrix table, just add it here. Add, maybe name it as index. Okay, it needs to be an integer so that you can sort it. Then click OK. Close and apply. Now once the data is in, you can you need to choose the column the category right and then choose here sort one column by another data so you choose index so now let's go to report view and then you can see here it's already sorted and that's all from me for today's video thank you for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe